Hey everyone. Hello. Brandon. Hey, Wait, spoiler alert. What's on my shirt? The sci-fi diet. Where are we at today? So we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we are eating lunch, late lunch, early lunch, early, early, lunch. early lunch at a sci-fi dine-in, which is one of our favorite restaurants on all of property. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah. It's amazing. We love the theming. We love the food. Um, we've had nothing in years and years of great experiences. Here. Yeah, food's been great uh, yep. and we're excited. They have a new menu right now. They've updated the menu with some different options. R.I.P. Turkey Wrap. I miss no, I you. Okay. Uh, but we're going to check it out and see what's there. Awesome. So uh, our reservations are like in a minute or two. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of came in hot, but we've come in hotter before. So we have a little time. But, we're always uh, coming in hot. We are coming Let's in hot. But, um, but yeah, we are going over there now. It's, well, it's right that way. Um, but yeah, Sci-Fi Dine-In for uh, early lunch, and we cannot wait. It is one of our favorite locations at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, let's go. All right. Okay, so we just talked to a chef. Um, oh, and we're in a flying saucer. Yep, we're sitting we at one of, of our those. Spots. We, love them. we do. We know most people don't, but we do. Yeah, we like them. They're a little bit more cozy and very well lit. Yep. Well, maybe not very well lit, but they're <laughs> more lit. I'm going to pan over. Yeah, normally it's. That's our view. Yeah, so we talked to the chef, and I apologize, I did not get his name. Um, I, think, I think I could be wrong, and we will correct ourselves. I think it was Ricky. Oh, okay. Well, he was very helpful, and we talked through some options. I'm going to get a new menu item, mm -hmm. which is the chicken uh, the chicken salad wrap, so that should be good. And then you're getting... I'm getting a barbecue burger. Yeah. I believe a barbecue. Yeah. Standard. Steak yep. fries, which we love here. Um, but I definitely recommend talking to the chefs because they can always go over options with yep. you and things that are maybe not on the list. Like Brandon wanted to get the onion rings, but they're in a shared fryer. So those are the kind and of the things. And the chef told us right away about yeah, that. Yeah, he was like, so. that's definitely a no. So yeah, excited. We're going to look at the theme. Yep. Can't wait to get some food. Yeah, this is, uh, we'll talk more about it, especially in our debrief, but this is one of our, it really is one of our favorite restaurants. Yeah. We've said it before. So. I'm going to get the the plant-based gluten-free cooking milkshake for awesome. dessert, and you're going to get, I think, a sundae. Just a hot fudge sundae. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, and we're right next to the, well, I guess we're going to, we have our little box right here to listen in perfectly. Uh -huh. So, yeah, but we're going to sit here, enjoy it, and speaking of flying saucers. Let's we'll see if they fry an egg. Yep. Will they fry an egg on? <laughs> Chef himself brought them out, and let's just have a fry really quick. Let's start with a fry. One of our favorite things oh. about. Oh, they're hot. Wow, there it is. This is not an exaggeration. I think everyone knows Sci-Fi Dining is some of the best fries on property. Delicious steak fries, thick steak fries. Dedicated fryer, fries only. So awesome, but. Entree is a barbecue, sci-fi, sci-fi barbecue burger? Or a bar uh, maybe. Hold on, everyone. I got the sci-fi barbecue burger. Um, Sarah will probably put the ingredients or whatever out here, but it looks delicious. I love the plating. I mean, look at the plating. It looks great. It's going to be extremely messy, so I'm going to bite into yeah, it. Yeah, it's got like yeah. a bacon jam. Yeah, it's it got looks great. Pork. I love the the plating on there with the logo. Oh my god! Listen, everybody, listen. Is this randomly out of nowhere one of the best burgers on property? I'm gonna. Make, I've only had one bite. We'll wrap this up at the end of the debris. 
but top five already. It's not going to beat the Stack Burger at Steakhouse 71, probably, but um, again, it's only been one button. Nice, soft, yeah. the flavor, it, I wish Sarah could have it so she could describe it better than I can for you. Delicious burger. Uh, maybe next time I need to get it. Yeah, it's Just really it good. Two. Really good. Um, I'm going to have one more fry. We love well, their fries here. Let me, let me finish this burger and I'll be brief we'll talk more about it. But absolutely. Delicious. I don't know my top burgers on all properties, except the stack burgers take out 71, of course. But um, this is really good. And again, this is new on the menu, right? Yeah, new on the so. menu. I've never I had it. I think so, or you just have never had it. Oh, look. No, I don't know how it is, but really good. This is Sarah's having to her. Consider the fries. Consider the fries. Right? <laughs> so Sarah's taking a bite of a fry. So I also got the fries. I got the chicken salad club wrap, which is kind of a play on the turkey club that they used to have here, which I love. It's gluten free, it's dairy free. It's yeah, look at that. Mammoth. It's got greens with apple in it, it's got bacon. Oh, it's greens with apple? Yeah. Oh, no, I love and it's got some avocado aioli, which I got an extra side of because she loves it. I get this every time yeah. here and it's so good. Mm. Fries are awesome. It's hot one good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't really love steak fries. One of the things that I will say is this location, Fry Steak Fries, to perfection, yeah. and they're delicious. Yeah, they're awesome. They're the fries crispy, here are awesome. They're not overly soggy. Good job, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Love that, Aoi. Now, let's, again, let's look at these. There's two of these giant things this here. This is more than the turkey wrap. Right? We just had a quick chat with our servers. So we have a quick cut there, but yes, I would definitely get the wrap. Oh, and the wrap is um, served in a Food for Life wrap, which is rare. You can't get it. What is it again? I'm sorry. It, the brand is called Food for Life. Food for it's Life. It's a gluten free, okay. dairy free, allergy friendly wrap, and you don't get them really that often on property, so I like them. I think it's well cooked. I'm very happy with this one. Okay, awesome. Right, so, desserts came. I got a very messy hot fudge sundae. I'm going to quickly take a bite because it is pouring all over the place. And you can also get a version of this dairy free with chocolate. Oh my gosh. Well, everyone. Brandon, can't take you anywhere. I told you it was messy. So, one more bite. I remember there were times in okay. Amazing as always, it's a hot fudge sundae with hot fudge, whipped cream, and ice cream. Delicious, obviously not dairy free, but it is gluten free. <laughs> but no, delicious, it always is. You, you, I forbid you to ever come to Sci Fi Dining and not get some type of dessert. I forbid it. So, um, hashtag is forbid. Um, and yeah, really good. I'm gonna eat it and uh, then we'll debrief. Well, Sarah's gotta eat yours too. <laughs> Mine is also messy. Yep, very messy. So I got the gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan uh, cookie milkshake. It is made with tofuti, non-dairy ice cream. There's a house-made coconut milk whipped cream and enjoy life cookies and some chocolate syrup. What was that again? Say it one more time just in case. No, it's a... Uh... Oh, so non-dairy. Okay. Gluten-free, plant-based okay. milkshake. Made with Enjoy Life cookies, awesome. toast foodie, non dairy ice cream, and a house made coconut milk with Looks cream. Looks great. Looks great. And some chocolate syrup. And it's usually amazing. I've had it a ton of times. Yes, she has. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. Good way to end sci fi dining. Yeah. I don't think they have any other. Check with the chef, but the last time I checked, they did not have any other non dairy ice cream. Toast foodie is the one they have. So if you have a soy allergy, something to know about. So really good. But very good. I haven't had one in so long. Awesome. It's All right. the perfect way. We're, I feel like Brandon, don't you dare come here. Yep, don't you dare. We, we forbid Not it. Here. Hashtag forbid. So uh, we're going to enjoy our dessert, uh, get out of here, do a debrief. All right, so I believe this is only the second, maybe third time in all of our decades of broadcasting that we've had to do this. My glasses are still wet. My shirt's wet. Socks are soaked. Sarah is, yep, Sarah's shirt's a little damp. Uh, we left Sci-Fi Dining. And it rained. It rained. The, the deluge. <laughs> Leave a comment if you know where that's from. Um, <laughs> win a prize. Your prize will be a thumbs up. Uh, like. But um, but yeah. So uh, yeah, we actually came home to debrief. Normally, you know, we don't do that. But it was either 
wait who knows how long for a dry spell or squish in a corner with people. So please so let's get home safely. Uh-huh. Let's do this. Again, my glad we when I say we just walked in, my glasses are still wet. We just walked in, everyone. That's how much we care. So sci fi dine in for lunch. Sarah, go. Go. So, well, if you have watched other videos on our channel, you know that we love sci fi dine in. We really like the food there. It is approachable, it is affordable. Everyone, it's an at home vlog. We Hold have on. a kaiju helping us with Practice us. is here. Cactus Rhodes, take <laughs> us home. By the way, his full name is Cactus. Never mind. Cactus. He has Fond- a lot of. He has names. a lot of names, but Cactus Fondue Rhodes is his main name. <laughs> anyway, go, I'm a- sorry for inter- Cactus. Is sorry for interrupting. Sarah, continue. Yes, yeah, so we are home. <laughs> our cats are helping. Yep. Are there cat wives over there somewhere? Over there. Um, so yeah, so I think Sci-Fi Dining is great if you are looking for a table service option in the parks. That is at a lower price point yeah. Oh, yeah. that has good special diets options. At least we feel it has good special diets Never options. Never had an issue there, yeah. And the chefs have always been great. Always. It is very kind of like, you know, burgers, fries, allergy chicken tenders, things like that. So if you like that kind of standard food, I think it's a good option. Yeah. And, and it has a really cool, fun, retro, yeah. drive in from what, 40s theme. and 50s? Yeah. Theme. Um, we are major, major, major fans of film. If you film couldn't art. tell already. Yeah, if you couldn't tell. Um, so we love it. Again, we didn't grow up in that time. We're, we're not that old, everyone. But, um, you, you know, but it, it, it's one of those things that we, we just love it. Brings back memories of a day bef- before us. You, you a know, time and a place. A right? time, a certain time, a certain place, and all the movies and everything like that. Yeah, plus it's one great. of the original restaurants oh, yeah. from Hollywood Studios, Hollywood so Studios. I think it has a lot of nostalgia there, yep. too. But um, one of the things I'll say in terms of the theme is it might not be for everyone, because it, it is might not be. dark. Yeah, it's it is very dark. It's a little on the noisy side, and yeah. of course you're can't have a lot of conversation per se. That's like why we, are, which is why we like the saucer section. Yeah, that's the a good point. The saucer section because don't get me wrong, if, if your only choice to go is to sit in the cars, which is, they what, are cool. which is what 90% of the people there want, which is what when I first started going there before we ever met, I wanted the cars too. But once we went, oh, someone's going after Oh, me. hold on. Your drink. Everyone, this is why we don't debrief at home. Cactus is, <laughs> all right. Come on, little rascal. It is, like Sarah said, it's one of the uh, original restaurants at uh, Hollywood Studio, MGM Studios, um, back in the day. We love it. Um, we love the theming. We love watching the old film strips and everything like mm-hmm. that. Um, just a lot of fun. We've never had an issue there with anything. Yeah, and I will say if you prefer maybe kind of a little bit quieter, maybe, again, more of your own seat, ask for the Flying Saucers. Yeah. Um, they typically use those for walk-ups, but if you ask them... Yeah. Um, they will often put you if you have a reservation there too. Yeah. If you, and sometimes you just have to wait a little bit. But. Most of them though, just know in advance they don't have back support. You're sitting on a bench. Oh, that's a good um, point. It's never bothered me. But yeah, for accessibility, if you need that back support, the saucer section is most likely not for you. I think there's only two of the saucers, like maybe three, that have a chair, that have a chair on, the back. on the back. But that's only one of them at the saucers. The right. other t- seats, the saucers don't. Um, so if that, if that, if that's important, if that if you need that for just comfort or uh, accessibility issues, um, the saucer section may not be for you. Um, but we like it. It's a tiny bit more light there. You can talk a little easier. I think. Uh, all right. So yeah, um, I think if it was, and I I don't know if Sarah's going to agree with me. But I'm just going to say this: if it was my first time ever going there, I probably wouldn't want the saucer. Part of the fun, my first time was in the cars and everything. Yeah. You're looking right at the screen. But given the fact we go often, oh, here he comes. Hey, Cactus. Um, everyone, this is why everybody's everyone, getting cut up a lot. Hashtag, in the hashtag, comment for Cactus. Uh, comment for Cactus. Can but, uh, and he's licking, oh, my, nice. he's licking my wet hair, everyone. Um, but cats do what they do. By the way, if you haven't played the game Stray on the PC, PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 5, um, which we have, we've both beaten it. Both of us have the Platinum Trophy in it on PlayStation 4. But um, anyway, so... And you can we're gonna it. yeah we're gonna stop this now. That sounds terrible. Um, sci-fi dining is awesome. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying this. Um, <laughs> Cab loops. <laughs> sci-fi dining is awesome. My burger was amazing. The more I ate it, the better it got. I it's not my number one burger on property, but I'd say top five, top six. Again, I I haven't thought about my 
excuse me, haven't thought about my list or anything, um, but it is one of the better burgers on property. And like Sarah said, during our, while we we're sitting there, those fries are maybe the best fries on property, if not in the top one, two or three. Those fries are, nothing beats a sci-fi diet. Yeah, they're the best steak fries. They are. For sure. Um, yeah, I will say in terms of the allergy stuff, special dietary needs, do talk to a chef if you feel comfortable doing so. They do have an allergy-friendly menu there, but there's a lot of different options and customization that you can get. Like, they have allergy-friendly chicken tenders there. It's not on the menu, but you can get those. Um, so that's something else is an additional thing. So just chat with the chef if you, yeah. like I said, if you feel comfortable. And our, um, same with desserts. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't say that the plant-based non-dairy ice cream or a milkshake is also gluten-free but it is gluten-free it so is. it is, so, it is. so and same with other stuff so yeah. there's only more options if you ask and we've always found the chefs to be really good in a combination. actually yeah food. there's so, every time we always say wherever we go in this in this case sci-fi dining no i think some of the some of the best chefs chefs at disney are typically i think we we've recently said it in another video 99 percent of all chefs and their culinary team are amazing don't get us wrong, we've had a few misses here and there, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but Sci-Fi Dine-In, they've always been great. And I, again, I am almost positive his name was Chef Ricky. Um, he was awesome. Our server, I believe it was Anastasia. Anastasia. Uh, she was great. As soon as she came out and saw our allergies, she went over them with us and then asked us, do you want a chef out here? We said, yes. She said, not a problem. Let me get your drink order. And she brought him right back out. So. Yeah. Awesome to both of those cast members. Yeah, and there is a lot of plant-based options there, too. So if you're vegan, they have – I keep meaning to get it, and I just always end up with something else. But they do have an Impossible Burger there with cashew cheese. I think they're using – Oh, so I probably couldn't have it. Yeah, so you wouldn't – but you could get the you could get the, the patty just with different toppings on it, just not the cashew mozzarella. Gotcha. Okay, and then next time it might be the yeah. Impossible Burger. Everyone, so, goes, everyone knows what I think of those Impossible Burgers. Yeah, so there's just some different options there. Again, use your own comfort. Yep. Always. What you feel most Always. comfortable with. But we love that there is a lot of flexibility and yep. options, and we have found that the chefs are really good there. Yep. And we, so, cast members, chefs, the theming and the food, and, like Sarah said, initially mm -hmm. the price point. Yeah, it was all total about $50. For, for everything we saw. For everything that we yeah, got. Yeah, we, we do have a discount. We do have DVC and annual pass. So we yeah, use, but use for, for Disney, mm -hmm. with the tip and all that, that's yeah. pretty good. So, yeah. that's it. Uh, oh, other than that, if you care at all, if you haven't been there in a while, they changed the lobby. I don't think we got the uh, the seats. The little seats in the lobby, for anyone that cares, because we have some people that care about every little thing, as we should, because we do, because we noticed it. Uh, the benches are no longer around the wall in the lobby. I did not get video of it, because we do our absolute best not to video just random people, and especially children, if we if we can avoid it, and everyone was sitting in them. But yeah, so different benches in the lobby. They're, I kind of like the old one set up better, but it is what it is. When you walk in the lobby, you'll see different benches. Yes. That's it. Sarah's like, why did we even... And you'll see carpet on the wall. And you'll see carpet on the wall. An so. old phone booth. An old phone booth. <laughs> but no free popcorn right now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Disney, bring back the free popcorn. Uh, seriously, Sci-Fi Dining's awesome. Yeah. So that's it. That's it? Okay. So thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Every one of you is awesome and amazing and wonderful. Um, thank you to our subscribers. Same to you. You're, you're awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Bell, thumbs up, leave a comment, and do you like sci-fi dining? Do you not like sci-fi? Every so often we get people going, we don't like somewhere. Leave that comment too. Yeah. We, we want to hear it. Our Hopefully other viewers or read, people that read the comments might want to hear other opinions too. Yeah, and everybody um, has different tastes. And everyone has and different preferences. Yeah, everyone has different taste buds. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. I think that's it. We're yeah. going to dry off. We're going to dry off. So And we will see you soon. <laughs> and Cactus says goodbye. And Cactus, we say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah. Off keyboard so, play it, yeah, does everyone remember Keyboard <laughs> Cat? This is Keyboard Cactus. If you don't, just, just uh, Google Keyboard Cat. Classic. Anyway, all right, that's it. That's it. Bye. Bye.